Hey guys, welcome to another session. We're playing live on Poker Stars and uh, Party Poker. The KL Poker series on uh, Party Poker started today. The WSOP just recently started a few days ago. So games will be very, very soft. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But before we jump into the action, before I'm gonna start sharing my thoughts, um, yeah, I just want to give you guys a little bit of um, review of what happened the past few weeks. Um, one second, I'm just going to finish this hand here. Um, so yeah, as you guys uh, realized, recognized, we had to um, take some videos offline for the time being. Uh, we had a complaint we, we, we were dealing with and... Um, it wouldn't be an issue moving forward we're going to keep producing uh, more and more videos and if we can bring the old ones uh, and back of course we're going to bring them back um so yeah and as you guys know we want to bring you the best free content we can and we're going to continue to do so at our best um to provide you the the best content and um i'm go not going to let me stop by other people that are afraid that their game might be revealed which is just completely horseshit um anyway it is how it is we're gonna go over it and to be honest those people that have complained about um yeah that their game might be revealed or um uh, whatever like i really don't know what they were complaining about but i don't want to be uh, i don't want to invest too much energy in that kind of bullshit because to be honest, if somebody wants to, um, yeah, work on the game and analyze your opponent's game, they're going to do that anyway, and not based on stats where or, or reads which I have on on players, um, because as you can see here on some opponents, I have reads and they can read it, and they're certainly not going to do it like um, because people. The thing is though that people are going to play completely different against me than against others, so. Um, I'm gonna finish this hand here so that people are really afraid that their game might be revealed like because of my pop-ups and stats um, I just think it's it's really really stupid and they should rather focusing uh, focus on their game and uh, not focus on that kind of stuff um, I'm going to what I'm going to do here Probably just going to jam 30 bigs a bounty. He can have a few with four drain. She's very short. Yeah. The normal freeze out I would fold. Um, but he could also have the incentive to just three bit wide against the small blind. Uh, yeah. I think it's pretty standard. I mean, that's then it's certainly close there. Um, but usually a normal, normal freeze out, I would definitely go with 10s plus. Um, so with the bounty being involved, I'd probably go with 9s plus. Uh, he will certainly have some 3 by 4s um, Going to bed turn and going to bed river. So it was definitely a really big hit for us i mean we could have just leave them online um but yeah of course we also somewhat respect other people's like let's call it privacy or however you want to i don't know how you want to call it um but i just want to provide good content i just want to i mean i'm not even explaining my stats and my heart in detail so like if people are really afraid about that Seriously, I don't know what's going on in their life and they probably just have too much free time and um, They should rather focus on improving their game and working on their game and probably nobody's ever going to sit down and study my heart and study those stats that uh, I have on my opponents um, So yeah in those live sessions, I will play with fewer stats as you might as you might see and 
what I will do though um, in order to catch up with um, the previous videos because we cannot really say if, what, what we're gonna do it's it's really a tricky spot and um, anyway I really don't want to I have a great team that is taking care of it I'm gonna call here you can shop a lot of weaker suited aces uh, and I have a great team that is dealing with it wow he's jamming queens he should definitely induce some action here um Yeah, so from today onwards, um, I we try to catch up as much as possible. And the good thing is, uh, I try to release two videos per week um, instead of one in order to catch up as fast as possible. So this is also a great opportunity for us to work on our content, to produce more content, to optimize our uh, releasing schedules. So might be a good thing and yeah if that is how it works yeah then so be i just wanted to share you guys what's going on so you know what what, what is going on and um yeah we're not going to dwell on that for very long we just move on and see what happens in the future um not going to see it here so yeah i would say we, we uh, focus on the action here that's what we're here for um okay this is queen jack suited is a fine bluff three bet here it's quite strong against any kind of um under the gun range so but i definitely want to check back i mean he can have some traps with aces kings um he can have ace jack king jack jack 10 suited so we only get a bit of value from ace and king to queen 10 but it's actually only a one street hand um, I expect him to bet flush draws very often, so I'm going to check back once more. Uh, I mean, this is, of course, the really bad card. But the thing is, ace-queen, ace-king would call anyway. Um, or let's, have, let's say if he has a6, so I'm not really protecting my hand. And you you really want to bet when you, you're protecting your hand, right? Um, but if they're calling anyway, plus he can have better hands, that doesn't really make sense. And now it's just... Uh, Okay, I, I really did not expect that. I mean, he should, first of all, I think it's a full preflop against my range. It's way too wide. Uh, here, I'm just going to check shove my queen jack. He can bet call, flush draws, have bet folds. We're 20 big sh short. Want to protect my hand, getting called by worse. And we are out again. <laughs> Uh, he was, yeah, uh, one, two, right, three bets, as exuded, EP versus MP plus weak post flop. I mean, he's, he should definitely um, bet the turn. The thing is, you should not defend those hands if you don't know, because the thing is, you're not going to, to flop, um, like trips or flushes often enough so if you say we play against a small blind range so i want a bit big on that flop um so if he if he's not taking the initiative on these kind of textures then he will certainly not have a proper defend preflop Um, we're gonna bet rather big. If someone jams, I'm gonna fold. Um, it would be actually a great spot for, let's say, if some of these guys has pocket jacks with a jack and diamonds or a flush draw um, to go for a check jam. That's a really bad river. And um, yeah, it's only really king queen. We can, <coughs> we can value bet against, and it's not even um, certain that he calls with king queen. And here's Queen 10. <clears throat> Not the best start in the session. Uh, 
I'm going check raise this flop. I want to protect my hand. I'm definitely going to raise the ace 10. He's betting quite big, so I'm going to be very careful. Um, I could definitely turn my hand into a bluff. Um, I really don't see, like, we have some 6 5, 4 fives. Um, so, yeah. Definitely betting here. And the 8 9. I'm going to check and probably check fold. Uh, maybe he can also have a bunch of ace king. And he limp or he plays limp shove, so I'm going to fold. Um, if he bets, I'm like this would be in theory a hand that wants to check jam. The problem though is that. Can he fold a week? Yeah, I'm probably gonna jam. I mean, if I'm not bluffing this hand, what else am I going to bluff? Uh, he can go for a weak, uh, thin value bet with king 10, king queen. So. And since the board is paired, I can represent. Oh, I didn't know we were three way. That was a bad. A bad float. And here, pocket six is easy jam. We can have jack nine, jack eight, king jack. And now we have to call once more. Half pot, not flush draw, very deceptive. And here it aces. Wow, he calls king queen. Yeah, that's that's why I don't like actually bluffing these spots because um, I'm going to forward. I think it's very likely that somebody has a stronger hand. No, not. Um, King 10 off, button versus cut off. It's fairly close. Uh, but I'm going to call. Yeah, the thing though is that. Um, if he bet cards, all his king eggs, and then he's probably also calling his, his, his um, jack eggs, his trips, of course, and over pairs, is that, and we jump into aces here, is that he's for sure over calling, and then my particular bluff with this particular hand is probably bad. But um, we can never know that, of course. And uh, I'm going to raise. Or is he somewhat aggressive? So I'm just going to raise. I have to rebuy a lot here today. I'm going to open the jack seven suited. And I'm just going to shove here and we can step here. And um, yeah, we want to think about, do we want to make it the two street hand or a one street, uh, a three street hand, and since I will have some bluffs, some flash draws, I would prefer making it a two street hand. Like we have all the eight nines, jack nines, jack eight, so we have perceived a lot of bluffs. Wow. But no worries, I can reload with more tables. And yeah, I also wanted to focus again on the early game. I think it's what a lot of people struggle with. Um, most people try to get deep and play somewhat um, or try to improve their, their late stage. Um, I feel like I'm just going to check Shaf here. It's already 1.7k in the middle. His sizing is fairly weak. Two over cards, gut shot, back to flush draw. And it's probably a board texture where a lot of people are over C betting. So we should check shove a lot of hands. If I also have queen five, I would probably just check shove. Um, even if he has an over pair, we always has decent equity, but we have so much forward equity. So we should play those spots rather aggressively. 
he calls and uh, it's it's an okay board I'm going to bet um, here I'm going to race you see that so far every single time not the u biggest sample though but Yeah, eight nine student could be a three red, could be a fold. Um, I don't like the stack sizes in the blinds as a flat, simply because they can, yeah, um, they're not deep enough in order to like. If they would be deeper, and if some of the blinds would be also recreational player. Um, close. We can three red. We can call. I like to three red against this sizing. And here we have a very easy all in. And we have to probably rebuy once all. Sweet. I take it. I take it. I take it. I take it. Okay, we can. We can. Let's go. The Sunday High Roller. That's a sweet table. That's a very sweet table. Uh, deck 10 off. Uh, we cover the blind, so we can try to make a loose deal here. Um, want to make it a three street hand um, I really want him to if I bet too big he might forward his king queens queen jacks which have very little equity um And now we need to jam. Wow. That's brutal. Yeah, I think on the flop. Yeah, on the flop he has to call once. And we doubled here uh, up once more, which is sweet. We still have a solid stack in the Sunny Bounty Builder High Roller, so all good. Yeah, 11 big blinds, even though there's a 3 bet in front of us, we just go for it. 9 deuce off, we have much better hands to bluff with. Well, wow, queen, 7. And, uh, um, we can bet, but... I think he will stab a lot of his pairs that will call anyway, so I will go for a big check raise. Okay. Now our hand isn't that strong anymore because now there are also jack x2 pairs, uh, top pairs, so, but no, still we definitely want to bet. If he has a jack then so it be. That's a very interesting card. Um, I think he probably has checked back at five or do now. It's just more likely than him having a jack, so I will bet fairly big. I mean, the jack, besides the eight, is one of the best cards in the deck. So it allows us to polarize our range quite a lot and to bet fairly big. Represent seven, nine, six, seven. That was a very interesting snap call. I mean, <laughs> He could definitely consider raising there. I will also have jack four, jack six. Um, so he beats some better jack arts. So, and I was not like that. I was over betting, so he should probably raise the river. But that's great because it doesn't put me in a tough situation. 
Um, let's see if we bet, let's say 10K, there's 44K in the middle. I'm on the bottom right table now. I, I, in these spots, sometimes you wanna check back top sets and you wanna check them back. If the stack to pot ratio is, allows you to check back one street and you can still get all in by the river, which certainly is not the case here. Um, so we should bet. I mean, it's pretty obvious that with the two street hand, we cannot go in. And this board picture also gives him a lot of room to uh, float, to raise, to bluff. Um, so we just call it, play a turn. And we, of course, if he makes it really, really big, we might just shove because he might commit himself against the sizing. Yeah, we just call it. Say he bets 50k, I probably just want to shove very often um, but against the side we just call it and we hope he doesn't have six five or ten nine He has jack eight. Yeah, that's very unlucky. Queen's very easy squeeze. Actually, being that deep, I wouldn't mind a call. But uh, this guy is. I have tagged him as a recreational player. Uh, we can check, we can bat. We block. Um, King Queen very heavily, which is probably a hand he will have very often here with a backdoor flush draw. I'm gonna start by betting small, getting some value from jacks, tens, ace, nine suited, some flush draws. I'm gonna check back the turn. It doesn't really matter. You can go either ways. You can bet, you can check, and then check the turn if once you've bet the flop. Um, again, like horrible run out, not beating pretty much anything besides jacks and tens. Um, yeah, we hope it just has jacks or tens. Um, we still have shot on value. We block ace, queen, and diamonds. So, yeah, it's ace, queen, off. Yeah, you get even value from those hands, so. Um, six, seven suited. We just have to fold. We're just not deep enough. On the button, I wouldn't mind peeling. I'm gonna see it here with the backdoor flush draw. Uh, King ten off. It's close. With less than twenty big blind, um, as a rule of thumb, you can keep in mind that. Pretty much every Broadway, suited Broadway, like 10, 9, 9, 8 suited are very often profitable. Like unless this guy is super tight, then it might get borderline. But there will like, you, these players will still often enough, or players in general will often enough raise forward the hand like King 5 suited or Queen Jack off. Um, seven's a very easy call here. Uh, why is his pop-up here? I don't understand. Yeah, it's for the measure too, so. I'm gonna re uh, check race this flop. Um, we are quite deep. So I can easily have, he's very short, so I'm just gonna get it in against him. Um, so I want to protect my hand against like even ace five and diamonds has reasonable equity. We get some value from those hands. Um, and we also have a bunch of 10 X. 
So in these spots, don't be too passive. Don't lo allow big uh, but in position to just constantly realize his equity. Um, that's also a major difference where I believe that low stakes and mid stakes, or let's say also less experienced players are playing these spots too passive. Also with the mediocre kind of hands like sevens, eights, jacks, always just calling, never consider raising. And this allows the player in position to always realize his equity. And then you can do pretty much whatever he wants with you. Um, so on this kind of board texture, you can still have a raising range. So calling the shaft from the button. Yeah, pretty much calling the shafts. They would jump probably any pair. So. Uh, and my rule of thumb is if he, like, I, I'm going broke anyway, right? So, okay, now I fold. But I would have jammed against him. And that's really good. Um, it's a board texture where I definitely want to. Uh, he's almost 2.5x saying, so I'm just going to fold. Um, where I'd want to do a lot of checking. Um, if he checks back though, um, now this is of course much better for us and I probably want to go for an over bet. And we can even jam the river on a, yeah, on a jet, on a safe river. Open the mini Sunday million. Did I miss the Sunday storm today? Ah, no, it starts later. Ah, they, they changed the schedule, I think, a bit. I think they changed the schedule. Getting a walk with queens. Going for a big turn bet. Um, this is an interesting spot. We might consider jamming here actually. Um, three betting against easy door here is not off. He's opening a lot of buttons. Um, calling is also fine. Yeah, I think I'll go with the call. It's, it's a bit too deep. This is a very interesting river. He certainly has all the ace X in hearts that's a very interesting spot if we have a value bet or not like the thing is we bet it into like ace deuce ace five ace eight which you can have all in this range um as well as all nut flushes so it's really, really tricky. Yeah, it's nine with nine and a half. Yeah, this is really, really that tricky spot. I would have, I was about to bet like 60, 70 K and then I timed out. I was the king and hearts blocker is a little bit relevant. It blocks like king, jack, king, queen and hearts, which makes less likely it has a few flushes. Without a heart, I would have said, certainly check back. All right. Then I'm going to take a break and I'm going to be back in five minutes. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm back. Let's go. Let's crush. Let's make some money. Um, here we have an interesting spot. Um, Blanco Negro opens. We flat call. Wow, this is very interesting as well. The thing, though, is that very often we might be drawing dead. 
So I'm just going to void. Interesting turn. I'm gonna check. And here we call the re race. And here we have to fold. Got a bit small. Um. Yeah, he, I think he very often has, if you check calls, he can have something like 9-8. Queens makes a lot of sense as well. I'm not going to shove the river for value. He can also have a random ace-5 off or ace-4 off, so... Yeah, I think ace, uh, pocket tens is not a great call there. Um, like he, then he calls queens, jacks, tens, nines. It's just a theory. If, if you approach it like this, he could just get away from it very easily. I think there was no need in. No need in making that hero call. <laughs> um, pocket tens, very good opponents behind. We we can we have a lot of op options, but I like to throw at this hand here. Um, so I'm not sure if I mentioned that earlier. So we are going to try to re-upload some of the videos and to see what we can yeah amend in order to to not yeah get into any trouble uh, so we will we, we will we will see what we can do there um but the thing is though that we're going to fire more content and actually those people that have that complained uh, accomplished the complete different because we're gonna fire more I'm um, even more dedicated to to release even better content in the near, near future I'm gonna see right here get some cards from um, ace highs I'm gonna check now I think I'm gonna float once here against a small sizing even though it's multi-way and king queen off is not the greatest hand here I'm going to call this one for sure of course and here we have an easy check I'm gonna second barrel here against this ace high floats And now I'm just gonna give up. This is actually an interesting turn. Um, he can have some ace. Oh, he probably has a very strong hand. Um, he can have some hands like um, a7, a8 and hearts that he was floating with. So not blocking some of the nut flush draws is, yeah, here I definitely want to bet big. No, I checked, ah oh, no, I was betting great. Um, yeah, I think it's a mandatory bet here. Also rather big, um, even though we, we, we have very little bluffs. <laughs> Uh, but we do have 3-6, I think 6-5. 
We can turn 4x. No, what was it? 10 4 do So we can turn deuce x into a bluff. I think we're in the money here. Ace for off, uh, my be way against 2.5x is not a call, even though we would have flopped two pair. Ten eight off is a defense though. Uh, are we in the money here? Yes, we are. Ah, no, 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 no. Some of you guys showed me last time in the comments how to how to change that this table. Right? Ah, here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, back to flash dog gut shot. Uh, back to flush or back to straight draw. Ah, this is really annoying. I think I'm going to turn my hand into a bluff. I feel like he's betting very often uh, 5x or 10x for free showdown. Um, so I'm going to raise. Pff, snap call. Mm. I don't think you would call 5x that often against the race. Maybe as a like queen five with queen and hearts, but this would suck really hard. So I'm gonna stick with my plan and um, no, I checked. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Especially also a snap call. Um, really felt like him being on a ten. All three, um, especially after his, his call. I think very often it's actually king nine with twenty big blinds. King nine off is like one of the candidates we want to raise forward, button and cut off. Um, I wanted to raise, but his sizing scares me a little bit. I mean, he can bet every two pair, but yeah, like, the board is just gives too many straights. And we block a bunch of river two pair, six, five, so I'm just gonna call. And also some of the players behind might be too incentivized to call, which would they afford against the race. Um, so I think calling is the way to go. Three way, Let's see this guy, is, okay. Yeah, small brand is unknown to me, so I'm gonna call. Uh, Ace Jack, I'm going to bet. Here we have an easy call. And if he fires the river, it's gonna be really tough. Um, going to second barrel the turn with a gut shot, uh, with the turn double gutter. I have marked him as calling station though, so I'm gonna be careful. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the best cards, so. Uh, I'm just going to fold here the turn if he bets into two people, people especially a bit bigger. Um, interesting, interesting river. I mean, it's not the worst hand to check jam, blocking some of the... So this one worked. Um... I mean, blocking pocket aids is not that bad. I feel like this is not the worst hand to check bluff the river, check jam as a bluff. At least he has a tough spot.
Uh, I think all six is is it strong enough? He might have some river at nine x, so I think we can go for a check call. I'm going to squeeze the ace jack here. Ace king, you can make some 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 flat calls with all suited combos, and it worked, which is sweet. Uh, ace jack off, easy value three bit here. I hope it is not too loud that I'm mingling or blending here my my uh, smooth smoothie. I'm just gonna jam here now. start with the bet here depending on the run out we might even have it the queen is actually really good um, so I'm gonna keep betting here um, the ten is also a really great card I think very often he's on ace jack king jack, oh, king jack queen jack so I'm just gonna shove. Um, if he has an over pair, then so it be. But pot left. What the fuck? This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, I mean these spots are really tricky to play. So we have Ace Queen. It sucks to have the Jack and clubs. It blocks like his King Jack. Jack 10 clubs kind of floats. Um, so we certainly don't want to call an ace x that blocks Jack and clubs or 10 and clubs. So yeah, we should not call this combo. And then we call ace queen, we call ace king, queens aces, we call all ace jacks without a club and some of the ace tens without the clubs. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna forward this combo here. Um, against button small range range with backdoor flush draw, I think it's fine to see bet. Uh, king queen off, I will three bet against easy lure. We might also flat actually. Blinds aren't that aggressive, so yeah, just gonna flat. <gasps> oh, we almost timed out, but not this time. Um, I think I'm going to raise small. <clears throat> That's an interesting turn. I'm just going to keep betting small to protect my hand. He cannot really call a flush draw now because he's drawing dead against. 6x, 8x. We blocked like six, seven, eight, seven suited. He can still have like a six suited, king eight suited. He might also have raised some six x. So I'm just protecting, keep protecting my hand here. If he folds ace queen, ace jack, ace ten, let's say ace ten and hearts, that's great. But we can do it with our entire range. We can also do it if we have like eight, nine suited. We also have some of these kind of eight x hands, like ace six suited, which we're flooding here. Why wins ace nine? Ah, it's counterfeited. That's too bad for pocket fours. Ah, uh, yeah, queen seven suited actually in open race. Um, yeah, this ace jack spot is very very interesting. So that's why in these spots it's it's important to have to then just rely on theory. Unless like I don't have any reads on my opponent here, so I just stick to um what I have learned in theory and if he's too loose, too tight, 
he will lose money in the long run. Um, yeah, I know that Isidurus likes to step a lot in position, check to, so that's why I want to check this, this hand here. very ambitious there with pocket fives and he's pretty much just insanely over bluffing I'm gonna limp behind the uh, um I'm gonna bet like 9k if he jams I fold just again to, to fold him out as 6x and 4x. Like, I give myself an incredible price. Uh, even ace 9 off, I'm going to fold here against 2.5x. Yeah, he's king suited. Nothing we can do. King 10 off, I will call against the button min race. <clears throat> um, he definitely doesn't want to do it with a club in his hand. Um, I don't mind like with ace 5, ace 6, king 6, like he has so so many hands he can do it with. Um, going to lead small the turn. Uh, I want to lead small, lead small because I have a bunch of like 7x, 8x, 9x where I just lead for protection. Um, I'm gonna value bet the river now. I think he often has queens, jacks, tens, or a7. So I expect to have a lot of fold equity here. Frido Pizza. Um. <laughs> I will... Yeah, just bet the river here. We can represent missed flush draws. King Jack. Very interesting what people are checking back these days. I don't know if they're scared or... I'm going to check how I don't really want to get blown off my equity here. Just take the pot ratio. I mean the six doesn't really change anything. So you should have definitely just... Any like even on the 10, he could probably just go for three streets. I'm just going to check shaft here, my king 10. Aces. Yeah, we just call the river here. Ace four. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a hand. That's a really sweet hand. Yeah, you can never fold against the sizing simply because he can like if he bets bigger, I would just fall. Like we're not beating anything, but he could, he could potentially value bet a six suited, um, a seven. Like he bets one fifth pot. Like, if he has it, then so it be. Okay, let's play this Sunday storm. Let's go. You're just gonna shove my kings.
Mmm, that's interesting. That would be really, really unfortunate if he has some sort of timeout or internet disconnection problem. And that's why race folded queens or I don't know, ace king. That would be really, really sick. Um, queen jack suited. We can check, we can bet. Like this hand is strong enough to go broke with, so I'm just gonna bet. Let's say if I have, let's say four, three in clubs, which I will of course never have here. I'm gonna limp behind because this guy's on sit out. Um, going to check the turn. The thing is though, once he check holds, I think he's very often ace, queen, ace, jack, so, or he's on a trap, which we block heavily. Um, so just gonna go check. I'm um, going for a second bar here on the turn, not blocking ace highs, king highs. Um, on this river, I will just give it up. Uh, not give it up, but just check back. I don't see any. Um, we could consider bluffing this river. Um, That's a really weird line. That's a really weird line. King 10, Queen 10. King Jack. That was a really great bet. Um, we barely have 9x. And um, yeah, we should of course always check call our Jack X. But I would have just expected him, expect him to bet like King Jack, Queen Jack on the turn very often. Um, it's probably a call I can just, a hero call I can skip. Um, but he definitely, and he is a very solid wreck, um, should check back hands like Queen 10 suited, 10 8 suited, which I expect him to be in his range more often than let's say an ace X hand. Um, and to be honest, I would have expected that he keeps betting King Jack, Queen Jack, um, where he just otherwise gives me too much free equity. If, if of course, I, uh, that's close. I think I'm gonna fold, yeah. Should keep in mind that I don't have any time back here. Would have folded anyway, it's it's really close. Against under the gun, still around 20 bigs. I think people are rather strong in those spots. I would have go, uh, I would have go, or went with eights and better. That hurts. Actually, call. I think calling is too short, to be honest. Yeah. And this call was also for, let's call it educational purpose, to show you that people mostly have it. Actually, last time I talked about that, this kind of particular spot uh, with friends, uh, when people go for bad check bad that very often it's strong and I should have just thought about it uh, Here even though he's very very small if I have some sort of back to flush I would have just called um, That's a great turn. I'm going to for a second like yeah, this is bad turn jam river very easy um, That was my plan. That's why I bet this hand on the on the turn. I have all my strong ace x ace king and I also want to have a bluff in case the diamond gets there. And my queen jack with queen or jack and diamonds are the only combinations I can really have. And if I'm not bluffing those, I don't have any bluffs. What does it mean for you? If you're in that spot and somebody's second birds and you don't know him as a very good regular or he's an unknown or recreation player, he very often just has it because this spot doesn't really allow any natural bluffs. So this player also already needs to think on the flop Okay, what am I going to do if the 10, uh, let's say three, four, or let's say any diamond gets there. So, and you need to then take that into consideration in order to start betting a hand like queen jack or, yeah, we don't have jack 10 off. So it's really just queen jack with queen and diamonds or jack and diamonds. Where we also block the flushes, we block ace jack and ace queen, which can be in their flooding ranges, so the best ace x hands, and we block flushes, and we have 
equity against a6 hands on the turn so all in all those hands we don't want to bet i'm also going to open some 888 tables on my second screen um probably just going to give up here i'm going to would bet my strongest let's say queen jack queen nine jack nine i think would be much better if i start betting now every single ace x with back to flush try would also over bluff this particular spot here we should be in the money here in the Sunday Marathon also very soon, I think. Oh, we are. <sighs> now we have a showdown value with ace high. Uh, he could block bet a king. He could also block bet an ace high, actually. Yeah, I think we have to call. I'm going to call here. No, I'm not going to call. A flush, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, against these small sizings, uh, I don't think we can ever afford. Going to check it down here. Against a good opponent, King King Nine, another gun versus Big Blind. You see that frequency actually in theory should go down to roughly forty or even fifty percent. I would raise Ace it often better. That's interesting. Yeah, I think he can buy a bet here. It's nine. Going to raise more. A bit too short to flat ace for it's it's close though actually those suited aces perform really well you get a good decent price um if you would min raise i would certainly call okay let's no it's not this table right this table here we go this would be a lifetime achievement. Try to get all tables displayed on my screen with red background. <laughs> to be in the money in every, every single tournament. Okay, let's see what is running today. Sunday Mega Deep. Ah, no, I'm gonna skip that. Three to suited is not a, the worst hand to defend with, actually. Okay, we'll easy fold here. Just probably gonna play the whale. When does it start? Oh, it started already. Going to bed here. My flush draw. Having a bunch of fold equity against ace highs. And I'm going to bet small. Uh, Actually not that small, I think 20k. Every weaker 9x and even an 8x might be incentivized to hero call. Um, going to second barrel, even though it would suck. This is also fairly close here. I'm going to second barrel. If he jams, this would be really nasty. I'm probably just gonna jam here a7 off, less than 15 big blinds. Okay, and now we can easily give up. We pretty much only have four equity against ASX flush draws, but he will more often has a queen, so I'm just gonna give it up. Maybe we have some short value against four, five, and clubs or whatever. Queen jack off. I'm just going to shove the queen jack off here. King 10 suited will also be a profitable open shove, um, but it's not that profitable anymore because we're a little bit deeper, a little bit earlier, and I rather want to play a little bit lower variance in those spots and just always go all in with my hands. Try to get people on the street as much as possible. 
Um, we cover the... No, we don't cover the big blind. Going to check, would my bet, bet my ace3, ace5, or back to flush draws, or something like queen jack with back to flush draws. Might be way you have to be really careful that you don't over c bet those board textures which you perceived would perceive as your opponents having missed very frequently. Um, we could shove yeah, 30 bigs are probably just gonna jam. Um, ace queen suited. This guy so far plays fairly loose, so I'm gonna play three bit call. He covers me, so in these spots, people also sometimes like to go a bit crazier. And here we have an easy three bit call. Um, going to check back. Here's something very interesting. Um, if he would have checked, we should bet really big simply because he covers us and we should take that into account and he's supposed to defend loser against our second barrel also with his draws. And of course we race against his, his small lead and we go broke. Yeah, nothing we can do. And here we just fold. Jack 10 off is a bit too thin to open race. Against Lina, we of course have a very easy call. Um, I think Ace Queen would call very often, so I'm just gonna race and get it in here. I do have hands like 10-9, king-9 and, and hearts. Um, yeah, this is the best turn card. Thank you very much. Let's, let's give him a little speech. Um, yeah, we have to check. I mean, there's nothing else we can do. We can just hope he checks back and is not jamming his ace-king. Uh, ace-six suited. It's kind of close here. We'll just fold. Um, we can easily value bet the river. Um, the thing is, though, that he could also easily... Um, Six is close enough. Ah, he could easily be on aces as well, which is very unlikely. And then we're drawing very, very thin. 
Um, something like Ace-10 betting for free Shaolong. So I think we have to call once. If he jams the river, we have an easy forward. Um, yeah, I'm just going to jam the river here. Seven, pretty sweet. Gonna start betting big here. Um, I think that's a great spot to bluff squeeze here, ace nine off. We still can raise forward against button. And here we have an easy jam. How much are we actually left here? Oh, 47. It's getting serious. Um, easy forward. And uh, yeah, we can call and see a flop. Okay, we just need to hold. That's great. Um, in these kind of spots, I think people do a lot of mistakes and overestimate. So we play against another the gun range. And just, just picture those hands he's flatting against our three bet. Yes, at first sight, it looks like, wow, really nice hand to, to bluff three bet with. But he's calling like sevens plus. 10-9 suited, jack-10, ace-8 suited, you're going to be in a horrible shape. Um, just want to protect my hand here. And it also leaves me a lot of room to maneuver on later streets to apply pressure on nines to kings. So like every five, is, this is not a good card. It just improves his, like now queens also improved. He can still has all the traps. So five, four, nine, ten would be great for me. Um, the queen is certainly not, so you're just gonna give it up. And it's very important always to keep in mind which hands are good for your range, which not. And this card should certainly decrease my um, bluffing frequency simply because it does not really connect with my range as well as it does with his range. 4-5 um, suited is a fine hand to bluff through it with. Uh, four three off here, almost min race we call it. This is the only position from the big blind against later positions where we should um, bluff three bet a little bit wider, like or let's say we can three bet looser. Um, I actually want to make it a two street hand. And good luck us. Oh, he will be mad. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pets. You're a good guy. Yeah, I think his call with kings against my polarized big blind three bidding ranges. Uh, his preflop call is fairly standard. Um, also, button versus cutoff here. It's um, like button versus cutoff in big blind versus late positions. We're in position. And you also just, you automatically have more forward equity. Um, it's much better to three with those hands. Uh, this guy is also opening a lot of buttons. Definitely going to call. Um, yeah, I mean, the board looks not so nice, but he's betting really small. So, uh, 9 7 suited also here, almost a family pot. Force, uh, no, it should be a rejam. Should be rejam. And here we also have an easy call against the second barrel. And now we have an easy fold. Um, I'm going for a small block bet against this ace queen, ace king. 
It can also has eight, eights and, and, and sevens, of course, but we're betting very small, and I think you will often, uh, often enough call with these kind of hands. Yeah, sevens. But uh, the good thing is it allows me to, let's say that, to protect myself to getting bluff from, let's say, deuces or threes. Um, he has all the ace queens, ace kings, ace eight, ace seven suited. Um, so yeah, and it's a very, very tiny block bet. Do, uh, don't, don't worry too much about being balanced. It's like a spot where most people pay zero attention to. This guy is very, very loose so far. I, I folded sevens earlier, but it was a little bit of a different spot. So I would just jam here. This guy seems to be very loose. So 10 and off button is also very tight. Place 1910 so far. Let's go and raise it up. Easy call. Uh, okay, and we get immediately <laughs> punished. Oh, he jams 9-7 here. there. That's very, very ambitious. Uh, Ace-4, I'm gonna limp. Gonna check call. Was it, was this guy, I played the King-10 hand earlier? I'm gonna jam the ace eight suited here. No, I didn't mean the king ten off and uh, what did I have? I had four three suited and he had jack ten off. No, it was not this guy. Yeah, usually I, I, I take way more notes when I'm recording, like I try to, to note everything. Um, here I'm going to raise bigger because this is a great opportunity to for the big blind to um, play a step stop and go. So let's say even if I have ace king or pocket eights, I would raise so big so I can also call it off against a small blind. And ace three off, like the guy has less than eight big blinds. I don't want him to, to peel with six five off. So if he wants to play, he has to go in. Or the stack to pot ratio is going to be so small that I'm pretty much committed to like 95% of the board textures. Yeah, this is one of the board textures. Gulagas. Yeah, and as you see, even with King 10 off, he was tanking and not sure what to do. So these spots you definitely want to, um, yeah, commit yourself against the big blind. And we're gonna win here. Um, on this, yeah, I'm gonna bet a bit bigger. My protection and uh, my hand needs a lot of protection. Uh, give me the king. Oh. Um. I'm probably going for a check forward here on the turn even though we have the heart, but he calls with two players left behind. I think he will do it with a fairly strong range. Even though he makes it small, I think there's just nothing we could do. Oh. And pocket sevens, we also just give up. We can jump. I'm just, well, he makes it really small. I'm gonna re raise. Interesting flop. Uh, probably, 
probably just gonna jam. I mean, it can't get any any nicer for me. Like, so whatever, let's go for it. Wow, sick. That's nice. Yeah, I just want to protect my hand here against King Seven of Clubs or King Jack of Diamonds. We double up on the Sunday main. Given his sizing preflop, I think he's a recreational player. What is it, like 2.2 fakes, 3 bet, all pay ace king suited, let's call it 4 bet. Um, I think we can bet small. Well, no, it's four handed. If it's four handed, it's very likely that somebody has a 10 or 3. So we're chipping up here on this one. Um, I think he was limping now quite some time, so I'm also gonna give him the recreation attack. And I think I also have to open some more party tables. We have some showdown value here. I oh, know he has ace 10. <laughs> Given the action, he could definitely block bet the river there with ace 10, even though it was multi way, but it's not really very likely that somebody has a better hand. King would have been betting very often, uh, betting, <laughs> would have very often bet on the on the turn by someone, so. And I feel like people are very often scared to bet thin for value because they always fear races. Then you just fold. Like, there's no shame in folding, in bet folding. But more often you will get caught by worse and then you constantly miss value. Like, if, if somebody has Queen 10, Jack 10, they will certainly call. Um, so yeah. Oh. Could sweet double up in the sunny million. Uh three to suit it. We call it, of course. And any every single suited hand button versus big blind is a call, and then we just fold. Uh, here we definitely want to ice race this player. Even though we have a gut shot, we shouldn't start betting here. Uh, otherwise, we would heavily over bluff with all the jack x club x hands we have. So this is a spot. Think about the strongest, highest equity bluffs you can have, like jack deuce off with jack and clubs or not flush draws, right? Those hands are much better. Um, 10 7 off here against under the gun ranges. Don't want to get involved. Ace check off. Too strong to raise forward, so I'm going to shove. I'm going to bet small the flop. I think he would call any pair. Um, and also, our hand needs a little bit of protection against King Jack, Jack 10 type of hands. Even if he folds an ace 7 off, that would be great. Ace 10 off, even though he makes it rather small. Actually, he makes it quite small. We block aces, which is one of the most likely hands I feel like people are doing it. Ace-jack off against this hizing would be called, I would probably call. 
And I'm not a big fan of 4-bit bluffing a ton of hands because let's say if I have Ace-5 suited, just as a profitable call, people aren't that great in 3-bit pots in position. So um, Ace-10 off I feel like is not the worst hand to bluff 4-bit with if I want to have a few bluff 4-bets. Um, might look like a spew at first, but his sizing just looks a bit weird to me, to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to go for 119 and just going to forward if he jams. Ah, uh, that was a misclick with the king 10 off. But it went through. Um, ace check off, I'm going to 3 bit forward here. Uh, Queen Knight suited is probably a jam, yeah. And now we probably need to get lucky. Easy jam here with Ace King. Ah, uh, seven. Not meant to be. That's a sweet flop. Um, apparently a two street hand while well, we jammed into aces there again. Please, this time, no queen or king. Oh, oh he has king-queen right away. Um, yeah, I think it's just a really bad defense. Um, you should never do that because, as you can see, if you just think about my bluffing range, which is ace-jack, um, I have aces, kings, ace-king, ace-queen, maybe a few ace-5 suited, and maybe king-jack suited. It's just you run. You, you perform so horrible against that range. And you really need a strong cooler for you. And then even you just have 80% if you flop the nuts, right? Whereas when I flop nuts with my hands, um, he's pretty much always dead. Um, so ace jack off, king queen off are always hands you want to avoid calling. Um, EP or MP versus whatever kind of three bet. Um, First of all, you have really horrible reverse implied odds and you're going to be dominated so often and you're not going to realize your equity as often enough. Um, so over defense, king, queen or ace check or type of fans, uh, 20, 30 big blinds, EP versus MP, AP three bets, um, go thinner for value. Don't bluff three bet. Ten nine suited, check can suited type of hands. I mean, the thing is, what do I really bluff three bet with? It's it's really, uh, value three bet. It's queens, kings, aces, some ace king suited type of hands, um, maybe ace queen suited. So it's not like that. I can have a bunch of bluffs. So ace check off is a great combination to bluff with. Ace ten suited and maybe king jack suited, and you can imagine how much equity king queen off suited has against that range. And I think people are just overly like heavily overestimating the equity in these spots. And this is something, and I think also for, to end this session, to wrap it up, when you compare high stakes players with somebody that is playing, playing lower mid stakes, they constantly put themselves into those low equity spots, which a more experienced regular is not doing it because he knows money in poker comes from investing your money wisely. So you always have, you always have to compare to stocks. You don't want to invest your money in a 35% equity spot where you actually need to have like 40, 42% equity in order to be break even. But that's what a lot of players do because they overestimate their relative hand strength over and over again. And yes, King Queen off looks nice and it's a snap defense, let's say against uh, a blind three bet if, if, we are, um, if we are cut off button or hijack, maybe even MP, but it's not like 
EP where I three bet into one, two, three, four, five, six people that can uh, in uncapped ranges. And maybe the image comes into play, but actually in those spots, you will see that even aggressive players, good, re good players, high stakes players, they are not that light. They're not going to have like eight, nine suited. They're not going to have king 10 off. They're not going to have jack nine suited, what most people expect them to have. Um, that's also, I can share you based on my coachings where a lot of students, when they overplay hands and constantly put themselves into those situations, they come up with reasons like, yeah, but he can have king 10 off, he can have 10 nine suited. No, but they certainly won't because they are aware they're good regs, they're crushing high stakes for years, that they won't do it. And this is something that will improve your win rate a lot. You can, it doesn't mean that you should fold everything against three bets, but be aware which positions you're playing against and you avoid doing this mistakes. It sucks a bit that now I bring up an example where the guy wins it with king queen off, but most of the time he will losing, right? And it's actually good and I'm happy people are constantly doing it and that proves that there's still a lot of money to make in poker because people are not aware of it yet. So I'm gonna wrap up this session. I might, if I have a deep run later on, I'm gonna record now uh, more also my deep runs again, and then I'm gonna put it on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Let's make this shit epic again, and uh, let's not get distracted by the bullshit that is going on, that people try to, to, to um, yeah, take our content offline. Um, I really try to um, constantly update and, um, produce more content and if you have any questions let me know if you want to see a different format in the future last week remember i uploaded the showtime poker format i think it's a great format but if you want to see something else if you have any suggestions very soon i also plan to do a spin and go session uh, just let me know and then i see you guys in discord let's talk about hands let's let, let's make poker great again and see you guys soon ciao bye bye